Hello there, Miss Sociology. Hello, everyone. Mabuhay and maganda umaga from Miss Globe. I can't believe it. Okay, so I'm here with... Oh my God, this girl doesn't need an introduction. For sure, you watch her performance last night. I'm with Maureen, the Miss Globe, the new Miss Globe. And she is from the... Okay, Maureen. Um, Hi, everyone. Good morning here from Diama Resort here in Tirana, Albania. We are so happy to be here. We just finished with our coronation. It was beautiful. The stage was so unique. The girls were lovely and the energy was so thrilling. So, hello, everyone. Thank you for joining our live today. Okay, how... How do you feel now? I mean, it's your first day as the title holder. Um, how is it like? So, in our language, in Tagalog, we say kilig, and it means you have butterflies, you feel on top of the world, and I feel so kilig today. There's been <laughs> such an outpouring of love from our Kukubayan, and I really felt like the entirety of the Philippines was with me on this journey. I've been doing pageants for a while, so it was so heartwarming to see like all of my friends, family, and supporters feel like they're competing with me. And I feel so grateful and humbled to be your Miss Globe. And watching all of the stories today of everyone watching and interacting with you, it's been amazing. I feel on top of the world. I feel like all my hard work paid off and let's enjoy now. <laughs> okay. What was the first thing you did after the coronation? I mean, there was a party um, after the show, so you were there with some other girls and then what did you do first? First and um, foremost, I had to call my friends and family. I think that's really important. A lot of people don't know, but I was competing at Bini Bining Filipinas Miss Philippines. Mm -hmm. I started in 2020. And I think our batch was very special because we were a pandemic batch. Our pageant was cancelled three, four, five times. And every time it, it we had to refocus what we were doing and ask ourselves, are we able to compete? So this was such a bittersweet experience. I actually was able to compete. Um, so even I was talking to my boyfriend this morning and he said, I can't believe your two years, you know, it paid, paid off. off. Here you are, you survived, you you won. Mm -hmm. So it's been really great. And then I also had chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> so you're allowed to eat chocolate yes, from now on. I have, you know, I took a lot of pride in health and fitness. Mm -hmm. um, as a lot of people in the Philippines know, I did win a fitness competition back in 2018. So I wanted to make sure I had my abs. Um, and now let's enjoy. I want croissants, I want chocolate, and bring on the dessert. <laughs> okay. What's next after this? I mean, you've won, and I suppose you cannot just fly back home right away. Mm -hmm. um, would you have some obligations, like appointments here in Albania? Um, what's the plan then? Yes, yeah, so today I will have my official contract signing, which is very excited. So. I will see what is expected of me, what we have planned. I've already been speaking to some of the national directors here. I think in the future I will be attending some of the national pageants. And I just have so much planned. I have a lot of advocacies and projects that I really want to pour my heart into. I want to feed the hungry all around the globe, so hopefully I can work with the Miss Globe organization and do my best to help everyone I can. Okay, have you had proper sleep the last days? Um, <laughs> to be honest, not quite. <laughs> it's been hectic. I am very grateful for this experience, but I am excited to have my own room. We're mm -hmm. four girls per room. And uh, it's been fun though. It's like a family a sorority even. Um, it's a great sisterhood, but I'm excited to have my own bathroom again. <laughs> All right. How many days are you going to stay here in, in Albania? I mean, um, you're supposed to fly today, right? Uh, my flight is scheduled for tomorrow. All right. Let's see. I heard if ever I might have to extend for a week, but mm -hmm. I think later today we'll sort that out. Okay. So let's see. Okay. And your message to Philip. I mean, Philippines has been like one of the best 
pageant nation in the world and you've seen the the amount of support you you get you get from hi the amount of support you get from from the Filipinos so um, how do you is there any message for for them thank you so much to every single person who helped me on this journey you know when we compete we don't wear our names we wear our countries so mm -hmm. that's why I say we won because mm -hmm. we as Philippines we won together and I would not have been able to do this without you. Even all of the queens who reposted and shared me. I was I felt so colleague when Catriona Gray. She was like reposted me, Megan Young. Right. All the queens like came together to help me and mm. it was really, really touching. It made me feel so again colleague. Okay, later. Yeah, okay. Sorry guys, there was some course, sort of interruption here. Okay, yeah. But okay. It's been such a pleasure. Mm. <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> <laughs> may may interruption lang dito ng konte. Mm. Um, but it's really been great and so thank you so much. I feel like the Philippines is such a powerhouse country and from Cindy's win in Egypt to I think it was in Turkey Faith won Miss Aura. Mm -hmm. The Philippines is killing it, and I yes. I am here for it. Laban Filipinas. La okay, <laughs> your national costume was something very nice. Yes. Um, can you tell us something about the national costume you wore yesterday? Yeah, so my costume was made by Sir Patrick. He is an iconic designer. He does costumes for RuPaul's Drag Race. Everything is extra bonga, very <laughs> dragoon. Mm. So I really, really loved it. And I just told him I want to be a beautiful flower. And he was able to really put that into something so beautiful. Um, it was a bit hectic. Mm -hmm. During dress rehearsals, everything went fine. During finals, it was a bit crazy. Mm. I think it was just thrown on me. So I was like, bah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But as a queen, you know, we need to love on. So I, I made sure to try to adjust it to the best of my ability. Mm -hmm. um, but I loved it. It's my favorite national costume ever. And it was very me. Was that a Sampagita uh, yes. inspired? That's what so I thought. So Sampagita is our national flower. It is a beautiful white flower and it was it adorned um, my back piece as well as my headdress mm -hmm. how heavy was your costume if i may ask because it looks well it is big yes. how heavy i is think it? it was 12 kg oh god yeah. you know what as a pageant girl the hardest part is transporting your thing so mm. kudos to patrick for making my costume it's like a puzzle you can take it apart put it together right. so he made it packable so thank you patrick Amazing. I got so many compliments on it and I hope to see his designs on the Miss Universe stage soon. Right. How many <laughs> days do you know that? How many days did it take to finish this costume? The costume, I think he was a bit rushed because he was doing national pageant right. costumes at mm. the time. I think he did it within two weeks. Wow. And those are custom made boots. Um, I think they're leather boots that he made specifically for me. All right. Yeah. And about the um, number you wore this high co high fashion dress who was the designer yes so my high fashion dress provided by my stylist Ali Sara thank you Ali mm. when we heard fashion I, I knew immediately no beads I want to be different because this is a pageant stage all right I wore my pageant dress for the opening number mm -hmm. so I knew that we needed something different. So when Ollie pulled out this beautiful blue cascading ruffle dress, mm -hmm. it was so me. I'm a very simple girl um, when it comes to fit and silhouette. I like a strong color and something that hugs my body. So it was perfect. And my earrings were by Christopher Munar. I'm actually wearing them right now. Wow. <laughs> so thank you, Christopher. Thank you, Ollie. And how about, okay, there was also the evening gown. No, yes. the evening gown competition. Yes. Both of my gowns, so my silver gown and the final gown. Oh wow! Yes. So do you know how how long did it take to finish this this beautiful silver gowns? I mean the the gold gowns. I heard he he didn't have much time to finish no, them all. that's the magic of uh, Sir Louis. He's so good. I know my silver gown was done in about a month. All right. And we added beads um, all along the arms and the back. So he's so good at making custom pieces mm -hmm. and it fit every single girl perfectly. So it was beautiful to see um, 
he was able to provide gowns for all of the girls. Okay, what will you miss once you leave Albania? I'm going to miss the aura here in Albania. Everyone is so calm, it's so sweet. People here are friendly, but they're not invasive. I don't know mm. how to describe it, but there's this quiet charm to Albania. And the air here is so clean. We actually went to Mount Tamor, and it was one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen in my life. So I'll definitely just miss the beauty of Albania and its people. Okay, and are you planning to come back to the Philippines, visit? I mean, will you fly back to the US first or to the Philippines? Um, yes, yeah, so I actually have work in December, so I'm hitting the ground running. Mm -hmm. um, I am looking forward to celebrating. I know Cindy is back uh, with Bini Beaning, mm. and they're going to start resuming activities again. So they'll have the, what is it, lighting the Christmas tree, which is very iconic for Araneta City. Mm -hmm. um, but I'll be back as soon as I can, and I do hope to go back to the U.S. for Christmas. I haven't seen my parents in three years, and it's time. It's oh. time to see my mom and my dad. Okay, yes. so next year you may be traveling the globe. I plan on it. I intend on really making a difference. I think as a queen, we are an ambassadress of goodwill. Mm -hmm. And it's not what the org can do for you, it's what you can do for the org. So I am ready. Uh, to me, this is a job, this is an honor, and I plan on elevating Miss Globe to the best of my ability to giving everything I can and to making a mark. I want to be the best Miss Globe that they've seen this far. Wow, Carloca, Diyos <laughs> ko. Um, what else? Kaya parang naubusan ako sa'yo ng itatanong. Nakatingin ako sa camera. I was just looking at the camera and then I forgot. Oh, she finished. I need to ask a second question. So, okay, what is Maureen like if it's not a pageant day? Like, um, do you always dress up, wear makeup, or you're a type of like, yeah, just a simple girl. I, what, what are you, what, how do you look like on a normal day? On a normal day, I'm a morning person, so I wake up, go to the gym, and I get my day started. I do enjoy dressing up, but with COVID, I don't really wear makeup anymore, mm -hmm. so this has been quite fun to get glam every day. But in the Philippines, we always have to wear a face mask and a face shield, mm. so I pretty much go makeup free mm -hmm. um, but I always make sure to look nice because when you look good you feel good and a normal day is just running errands going to work I do a lot of hosting modeling and cooking yeah cooking simple girl yes I, I find a lot of joy in the kitchen okay so what what's your like favorite or not favorite what can you cook the best I love any Asian dish, so whether that be a Thai basil chicken, mm -hmm. whether that be stir fry or a pancit or adobo, I love anything with a with some punch, with some kick, with some flavor. But I definitely <laughs> love Asian flavors, Thai and Filipino. Those are probably my two favorite cuisines. So that means, I mean, you love cooking. I suppose you love eating too. Of course. I mean, who doesn't? Um, so weeks or months before this competition i mean what what preparation um did you did you have so preparing for this it's definitely mentally emotionally physically you have to prepare so i made sure my body was right i made sure i was focused that the one thing i did different this pageant was I really created a lot of photo shoots mm -hmm. and a lot of content before I came. I've noticed, especially with the pandemic, the game has changed. You don't just show up and you you can't just be beautiful. You have to have a social media presence, you have to be well spoken, you have to be prepared, and it's really evolved. It's much harder now to be a beauty queen than it was, let's say, four years ago because of the eyes and the expectations. So I just made sure I was up to par and mm -hmm. thank you to everyone. I collaborated with so many people, to Brian and the whole Pampanga team, to Patrick for shooting our national costume and introducing me to Alex and Ray. Um, there's so many thank yous that need to be made, but thank you to everyone who helped me. It really takes a village. People think it's easy, you just post a photo. No, no. there are makeup artists, hairstylists, stylists, photographers, the whole nine yards. So thank you to everyone who helped me on this journey. Okay, so I mean, you're now a queen. You have a crown, you have a title, you have the sash. 
Um, no one can take this title away from you. And I thought of asking you pageant questions. Ooh, so, go. I mean, you don't have to give the best answer now, yes. but I, I'm sure you will. I feel relaxed now, so it's fine. Good. So, no more pressure, okay? Yes. So, my first question is, I think this topic is quite relevant too. Um, how would you explain cyberbullying to a six-year-old child? I would say to a six-year-old that mm -hmm. a lot of times when people have an issue, it's an issue within themselves. If they are attacking you for being confident, it's probably because they're struggling with their confidence. So I think when we are addressed with hate, we need to respond with love. I think a lot of this pain, a lot of these negative words, it's coming from a place of hurt. So let's see what we can do to help them heal, to help them understand, and just to have a better, safer space. I think it's very important that we think before we click and that if you don't have anything nice to say, let's not say anything at all. Okay, another crappy naman para. Can we give her a second crown, please? Okay, I'll. It's much easier when there's no pressure. <laughs> okay, okay. So another questions are uh, related to the first topic. Let's say you meet your basher mm -hmm. unexpectedly. Yeah. Personally, huh? Um, what would you tell this person? I would say that hello, this is me. Let's be friends. Uh, I have nothing but an open heart to give you. All I have is love for you. And no matter what religion they practice, you know, I still pray and hope for the best for everyone. I think our aura, it's the first thing that we show to people. So if you show them love, then how can they hate you? So I would really just try to make them feel good. I think that's also our duty as a beauty queen is to inspire and uplift others. So I would take that opportunity to change their mind and to, to leave them with a good feeling. Okay, last question about this topic. Grabe, no? May title na pinahirapan pa. <laughs> okay, let's say, I mean, there are many people, maybe you one of them, have been um, like, well, victimized by these bullies, mm -hmm. right? What advice would you give to the um, yeah, to the people who have been bullied. My advice to anybody being bullied right now is to really focus on yourself and to not let these words affect you. It is much harder than it looks, but for me, I have to turn off my phone sometimes, especially when it's going on online. It's not real life, so we need to really prioritize our mental health and it's okay to talk about our feelings. I think sometimes having a friend or a family member to lean on, it really helps you. So you don't have to walk around with a heavy heart, just let it go. At the end of the day, you write your own story, so don't let someone else bring you down. Ay, may pangatlong corona. <laughs> Grabe, Maureen. Maureen, um, are you joining, uh, well, I think you've won a title, so technically, can you still join beauty contest or are you? I am done. I, my heart is so full with Miss Glow. <laughs> uh, I'm also 28, so this that's also why it was emotional. I actually cried yesterday morning because mm. it's my last pageant and, oh. you know, it's been such a journey. I've been a first runner-up so many times and when you pour your heart and soul into something, um, yeah, you just want to see the benefits. You want to see your hard work pay off. So last night was a culmination of all my hard work. And I'm so so happy. So, uh -huh, so this would be your very last pageant in You Have the Crown. Yes, it's my last. Um, I made sure to end it with a bang. That's why I wanted an epic national costume, yes. a beautiful gown, okay. something different. And I'm. Whew, some bugs today. <laughs> but I'm uh, incredibly happy with my journey. And I have to say thank you to Bini Bini Filipinas. They've been so supportive. Mm. I. I could not have done this without them, so thank you, thank you to Bini Bini Filipinas for selecting me as your Miss Globe. Okay, so again, uh, Maureen, thank you so much for giving us this opportunity. I have like 4,200 watchers. Oh um, my god, and it, this will definitely go viral. Maureen, um, you made, you, you're making us proud. Oh, thank you so much. And you guys the, made me proud. And there's like 100 million Filipinos out there and for sure um, you, 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 you reach your dreams um, you, you've reached this title you have this title now and 
if, if you you know guys Maureen looks beautiful on on picture on video but if you're like in front of her like you're just like staring at this young beautiful woman and you forgot you're you're about to worry I should ask question but I just keep on staring at this this young lady so Maureen um, last message last opportunity say say hi to friends family supporters um, before we end this interview so hello everyone thank you so much for tuning in um, I know Powie is also with mythology so hi Powie yes but thank you to my camp thank you to KF Tito Raj to Enan to Bini Bini Filipinas to my core team all of my designers Patrick Sir Louis there's a thousand thank yous and I hope as we continue that we can support um, Samantha Panilio in Miss Grand this December and Hannah Arnold in Miss International I think they both have a very very strong chance at getting their respective crowns. Imagine a four for four crowns for wow. Philippines. What a dream. So let's see, let's continue to cheer for our Filipino queens. And also, I know we all voted for me during this globe. Thank you. Be sure to vote during the election. We have one coming up this spring and it's very, very important. I've registered, so please also register to vote. This is going to be a very, very, very important presidential election. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, so give us this introduction as the Miss Globe 2021 oh. <laughs> before we end this interview. So, yes. there you go. Hello, my name is Maureen Montag, your Miss Globe 2021. Bye-bye. Thank you, Maureen. Thank you. Thank you.